P1 Industries uh, was a company I founded nine years ago. Uh, it's an industrial engineering and advanced manufacturing business servicing the power generation and oil and gas industries. When we started the company, we said, yeah, we want to be an advanced manufacturing business. We provide exceptional engineering services to these large manufacturing companies. But at the same time, we want to layer on a Zappos style customer service in the industrial world. And it worked. You know, we found that people, customers were hungry for that type of experience. You know, coming into a, as a 26 year old, coming into a bureaucratic marketplace in the industrial world, it was tough to break in. And we had slow go in the very beginning. Uh, we grew a little bit for the first year or two. And then once customers and like GE and stuff became very used to our customer service and our reliability, we grew very, very rapidly. So we're in the process of really working on our next five year strategic plan and how we continue to grow the business diversify it and, and, and kind of keep that, uh, that value creation over the long term. So today we have 60,000 square feet of manufacturing space. We have an extremely young, energetic and vibrant workforce uh, with, that are very, very smart and talented. So industrial companies uh, traditionally have a two, two dollar fifty cent impact for every dollar of revenue in the local community. So I'd say our revenue impact or our, our community impact in terms of dollars is somewhere between 35 and 45 million dollars a year. Uh, we have 80 plus employees all located in the city of Schenectady. You know, I have a, a great deal of uh, admiration for young entrepreneurial leaders that want to have an opportunity in this world. So when I left GE and I started my own company, I had this dream and desire to really give young people an opportunity to be entrepreneurial and to do something really exciting with their careers in a small, agile business. So we started a two-year training program, what I, it's our, we call it our Entrepreneurial Leadership Training Program. And we actually take folks right out of college and we'll put them through a two-year training program, we'll pay for their MBA. So one of the greatest points of pride for me is we have a workforce which is about 75% millennial and in an industry which is traditionally very, very old in terms of average age, average median age of folks in this industry, and they're thriving. I grew up in Schenectady County. Uh, I went to Mahonison High School. I graduated from Union College. I uh, also went to Union Graduate College. You know, last five or six years have been a big thrust with the Metroplex and the things that you're doing in downtown Schenectady, and I wanted to be part of it. And I think Schenectady is right at the cusp of being a, a, a nationwide leader and reinventing an old industrial city into an innovative tech hub. Well, I remember when I got the call from Chuck about the award, um, you know, obviously as, a, as an individual, you're like, yeah, that's great. That's a good kind of, uh, you know, affirmation of everything you've tried to work and build. But I don't do this for me. When I announced it to the employees, I said, this is for you. Right, so, so, so this isn't about Dave DeSalt, this isn't about the Entrepreneur of the Year Award. To me, this is the team award. I like these types of awards for the company and for the team because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. The folks doing the real work are the ones that should be getting the award, and uh, so I do it on behalf of them.